Regeneron 5458, which now officially has a name, we can call it Linvoseltamab. Um, we're really excited to talk about the upcoming data with this. Um, so there have been a number of study doses with this drug to date, um, but we finally settled on a phase uh, two and forward dosing of 200 milligrams. And one of the things that we've seen is that there's actually a dose response curve with this drug. And with a lot of immunotherapies, that's not really the case. Uh, but in this study, we actually looked at patients who got 200 milligrams or higher compared with people who got less than 200 milligrams, and typically that dose was 50. And the overall response rate at you know, less than 200 was around 49%. 75% overall response rate when you get to 200 or above. So we're recognizing that you can really get to a better dose and still maintain good toxicity parameters with you know, CRS rates still being in the 30 to 40% range, which is overall really, really great. In fact, not included in this, but really interesting, there's a number of patients who are, who are progressing on 50 milligrams, and then in the trial, we up titrated them to 200, and we're actually seeing responses in some of those patients. So a lot more to come with this molecule, uh, but there seems to be a way to adjust dosing and schedule to optimize both efficacy and tolerability.